Oh, humble beginnings indeed. It's always the humble beginnings. I love humble beginnings. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome to Foundation. This game brought to us by Polymorph Games is an open alpha that uh, you can you can be a backer for and get access to that has come out that is a medieval city building game. Um, it's I'm not sure what to expect. I haven't really opened it and messed with it much yet, and I uh, I wanted to get kind of my initial reaction and feel for it, and then maybe we'll talk a little bit more about what I've learned. Hello, my lord. Welcome. Please read the following pages carefully as they will show you how to interact with Foundation. You can toggle the help menu at any time by using the help button in the bottom toolbar. Uh, roger that. Please bear in mind that the game is still under heavy development. That means there will be bugs and crashes, yes. As with any alpha release, we can expect that. That is fine. It also means the game only contains a fraction of what we plan to add in the final release version, and there may be balancing issues, Yep, yep, which we are aware of. If you have suggestions, questions, or you want to talk to us, you can join their Discord, which um, opened up, I believe, when the game, when the open alpha went live yesterday. Um, from Polymorph Games backer account. Oh, that's just for, it's just for backers. Uh, we got the basic WASD keys to move. The mouse wheel zooms. It looks pretty. This is kind of neat. The idea of a gridless city building game that's going to sprawl all over this is sort of exciting. So I'm, I'm interested to keep going. Keep the middle mouse button down to rotate, or the Q, E, R, and F keys. Uh, that's all right. Fair enough. Acquire a new land. Choose your first piece of land. The first one is free, but you'll only be able to buy more, so choose wisely. Well, it doesn't really tell me what the choosable criteria is, right? I mean, the mountains seem cool, but we're likely going to need some flat area. Here, we'll just do this one. Build a village center. Okay, the build menu in the top right corner of the screen, right? Village center. Oh, it's tiny. Villagers. Okay, we're not there yet. <laughs> hey, now we've got some villagers. You can click on any of them to see more information about them. Agnes, happiness... Okay, low, but it says zero. A weekly profit. They're not really doing anything, though. Here, let's pause it for a second. <laughs> villagers have needs. If not fulfilled, villager happiness will decrease. Each villager's happiness will impact the global happiness of your population. Pretty much. That's global happiness. None. Okay, higher global happiness. The more immigrants will come to your village. If you wish to stop immigration, use the immigration checkbox in the top left of the screen, which is that one. Okay. More buildings to construct now. Right, take a look at the build menu, which we have here. Hmm. Pressing control and moving the mouse, that's good to know. You'll need at least one builder. You can assign jobs to villagers from the villager window. Okay. Assign appropriate job to any villager. Simply assign a random villager from the building window. Well, let's go ahead, let's make a lumber camp. That seems like a good idea. So we'll build a lumber camp here, and uh, I guess we'll start with that. So let's go ahead, we'll unpause it, and if we waiting for a builder, right, because we don't have any builders assigned. Okay, alright, villager list, you'll be a builder, oh, they have levels, okay, so they're going to level up as they, as they do things, that's good. We're, we're likely going to need a couple of builders, berries and water. Okay, all right, I'm starting to get it. Well, let's go ahead and queue up some uh, berry market. Sells berry to the villagers. Or how about a gathering hut? It just straight up gathers berries. There you go, another builder's going to that. And we need water. So we'll put a well down right here. And we'll need a builder for that. Here we will assign an available villager, probably two, there's no extraction zone for woodcutter. Oh, hold on, hold on, we're getting ahead of ourselves, yep. 
Zoning. You'll find the zoning tool in the top right of the screen. Mm, territory. Paint development zones. Oh, interesting. Nobody will walk on Lord's Land. Wood cutting, stone cutting, and berry gathering. Okay. Well, I kind of want it to be all of this area here. Uh, I guess we'll just do all of this for now. Okay. Oh, right click takes it away. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Press and hold control to use the mouse wheel to increase, decrease brush size. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll just hit this whole little area here. Yeah, right up against our border. There we go. Perfect. Good luck. You should now be able to rule over your village. Try to complete all of your missions at the top left, which is so far to weekly reach, reach a weekly profit. Have a look at the bottom left corner of the screen. You'll find the villager list window. It's an easy way to manage your villagers. Thank you. Okay. So everybody should go and do their own thing. Let's see. We're building the well. So we have... 20 wood, 390 gold, tools, and berries. So this produces stone. So the gathering hut is for the berries, the lumber camp, berry market. Sells berries to the villagers. I feel like that's the thing we're going to need. And then the stone cutter hut. I mean, really, that can be... Oh, there's not a lot of stone here, so that'll just have to be here. That's what our builders will go and take care of that. So it seems like one builder just left and went to the other hut. Here, we'll assign two gatherers to the forager. We still have one person unemployed. They are leveling up, so that's good. Let me just have one person kind of sitting around not doing anything. Uh, what about what about homes? Don't we need to build homes for everyone? Build the market, the stonecutter hut, the sawmill. Produces, looks like, yeah, shaped wood as opposed to wood. And then the warehouse for stocking resources and to trade. One serf. Twelve serfs. Okay, interesting. So we're still trying to reach a weekly profit of 500. Unlock a trade route. I think it said I need a warehouse and restock, stocking resources and to trade. Okay, well let's put the warehouse over here by the berry market. I think that's... Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Sort of put the warehouse there. We'll sign somebody to the market. Hey, and we're chopping down trees. Very good. Hmm. Weekly profit of 500. There is not an available villager, so we will change you to Stonecutter. So we still have two foragers, two woodcutters, a market tender, and two builders. This should be a priority. Prioritize this building, please. All the builders need to come here. We need water. Our villagers don't have their basic needs met yet. That's not okay. In fact, I'm going to go out and say we need one less woodcutter and another forager. 12 mushrooms sold this week for 60 gold. Okay. That works. Mm, we need five stone, so... Oh, it's going. 
That's what you need that stone cutter for. All right, well, I think we'll take off a builder and switch it to stone cutter for now. We really just need one builder. But we need to keep the resources moving right along. Does it tell me how many it does? Okay, so it has one stone, and it's being taken over there. There we go. Reward one free territory for unlocking a trade route. So we're just kind of out here. Look at this. It's just sort of... I don't see any water. It would be cool if there was, like, rivers or lakes. I imagine that might get added in the future. I imagine you'll have to have water at some point. Oh, humble beginnings, indeed. It's always the humble beginnings. I love humble beginnings. So this is pretty neat. People are doing what they need to do. We we just happened to pick a territory that had berries and stone and wood, thankfully. So let's start looking at possibly... Yeah, quest list. No, that's up there. Desirability layers... Ooh, residential, fertility, iron ore. Interesting, interesting. So I have a feeling that's going to become important as we go along. Yay, the well is complete. So now everybody should be able to fill their needs... And then we should get happiness taken care of. Nobody's stopping to drink from the well. Do we need a place to distribute it? I didn't see a place like that. But we are building the storage, so we'll be able to do the trade trading soon, hopefully. I don't know how long these berries are going to last, though, I wonder. Hey, your villagers have reached a new status. Surf. Excellent. Now look at all these buildings we get. Okay. Sheep farm produces cloth. Weaver hut produces clothing. Clothes market and a wooden gate. Lord manor forester camp. Oh, look. Our global happiness is increasing. That means people are going to be immigrating. Next immigration wave in four days. Oh, and the happiness raises it. Oh, no, that's good. Uh, Emma, why are you so sad? Because you haven't, you haven't stopped to come and get some water. Where are you at? Can I look at you? Yes, follow. You're just so busy building. Building, building. I never get to stop. Because of the, uh... Oh, I can't click on this building till it's done? Mm, okay. Fair enough. Let's, um... Oh, let's go to double speed. Yeah, look at that. Double speed. That'll get some stuff done. Now everybody's working really hard. So they do. They have a house. Uh, they're looking for lodging and clothes. And these are going to cost some resources that we don't have yet. So we're going to have to make a sawmill. Which we'll go ahead and I think we'll just go ahead and put that like Sort of right here. It's next to the stockpile. Let's see. Where does it look like? That's like the workbench. Let's put it there. We're going to need another builder. Let's get some immigration. That's what we need. Hmm. Hurting on that weekly profit. We need a trade route. You're going to build the sheep farm first? What? Why would you... There it is. 
prior oh it also takes planks two new villagers two two yikes where'd they go I don't see them on my villager list Maybe they have to travel here from far away. Oh, they do. Look, they're like making a little road. Where did they come from? Just some some forest. Well, I can't imagine we needed that much happiness to talk them out of moving out of the forest. Oh, what is this? It's got to be like iron. Okay, so it's going to take them a little bit of time. But they are, like, leaving this little road. Oh, it's not as... Not as much now, because they split up. When they were doing... When they were following the same trail, they were wearing a pretty good little path. That's neat. I do like that. I suppose that's what all of these roads are, is people just, yeah, walking the trail over and over again. That's cool. That's cool. I do like that. All right, builder and builder for now. For now, you will be builders. Global happiness. Right, everybody's happiness goes down because now they have more requirements. Oh, I see. Let's well, almost like get that first immigration before you fulfill everybody's requirements. Well, no, because then the happiness won't. Yeah, that's that's tough. That's a tough call. I'm not sure if there was a better way to have done that. But I think we'll just roll with it the way it is. And we have a sheep farm now, so please remove one. Spawn sheep. Nope, we're going to assign an available villager because we're going to make... You a shepherd. There we go. Now, spawn sheep. Come on, don't abuse. Wh what? How is that? I don't understand. What? Four sheep? That was that was getting on abusive? I thought that was the whole point. We just spawn in the sheep that we need. Okay, okay, we'll leave it be. I don't know if it's going to penalize me if I try to do it again. If it's that kind of a game, it's going to get vindictive on me. We also need a weaver hut. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. The good news is people get better at their jobs the more they do them. So incentivized to not give people jobs lightly and then take them away because we want them to get better at their jobs especially that stone look at them go times five speed Ooh. that might be a little fast better slow that down build a lord manor requires 12 serfs what we got here a sawmill well we don't have an available villager we'll have to take somebody off of a job Carpenter! There you go. Okay. Hey, we made we made a small profit. We made a small profit. Look at that. Now that we're making planks, we should be able to get our, our storage center up, and then we can look at unlocking a trade route. Build walls. Small stone, wooden wall, wooden wall. Is there a reason to build walls? Are we going to get attacked? Ooh. Something I had not thought of. Territory budget trade. Neighboring cities. Oh, I see. Davenport or Northbury. Unlock trade route for 20... This... Two new villagers. That's... Excellent, actually. Trade route... This is for 20 planks versus 
bread. We're not going to get 20 bread. We will get 20 planks. Yeah, so we'll have to unlock a trade route. We'll have to save up our planks. And also get everybody upgraded to surf so we can build a Lord Manor. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we got two more for 12. That's that's good. Oh, yeah, shearing the sheep. Excellent. Oh, wow, we have quite a bit of wool, actually. More planks. Where are you at, Edward? Oh, you're you're working hard here producing planks. Okay. Not bad. Okay, that's that's actually at a, a pretty good speed. It's actually a pretty good speed for doing that, all things told. Let's see. Forester camp used for reforestation. Probably a good thing there. And a Lord Manor, your very own Lord Manor. Ooh! Create your very own manor. Building part count zero, minimum three. Has a door no, monument effect on estates. Oh, oh wow. Are these tools? We need tools. We need lots of tools. Okay, so we're not ready for that yet. Um, how are we going to make tools? I wonder. Well, we're obviously not there yet. We could probably trade for them, maybe. Selling tools for gold. Okay, so we can get tools that way. Yeah, okay, that's probably the easiest way to get them. But we'll need a way to get gold. Buying berries for gold, stone for gold, planks for gold. Okay, so that's how we get our gold there. We can buy marble, bread, and tools. Coal, iron, and glass. Okay, so you sell things you do have for things you don't have. I, I get it. I get it. Wow. Lots of wool. And we're going to get some more immigrants. Let's make some clothes. Or no, we need a weaver hut, and we don't have the gold for that. Okay. We'll go to times five speed for a little bit. We're still not making a profit, just selling berries to people. Let's assign an available worker there. And then I'm, I'm trying to think of where I want the other person. I think I'll put you on the wood wood cutter. We are using a lot of the wood. We're making little bits of a profit. It's just not that much. Two more villagers. It's excellent. Stocking resources and to trade. We don't really want to refuse any of those. We do want to assign an available villager, though. Reward. What's the reward here? A hundred... King... King face. A <laughs> hundred king face is your reward. There you go. One person can go to the warehouse. And we're going to unlock this trade route. Boom! Unlock the trade route. Trade enabled. Until my inventory reaches the value. Buy until my inventory reaches the value. I think that's what they're trying to fit in there. Um, I just want five, if possible. Sure. 
We need we need some tools, but no. Next on the list is actually the clothes market. So this this is seemingly playing a little bit like Anno, in that we're going to have to get the needs for our villagers in order in order for them to advance. My question is, how am I supposed to get them resources lodging? I don't really see a place to build lodging, unless they mean they just want like a, a wall around everything, perhaps? I, I can't see that being what they mean. Oh, that's the clothes market. I did not build a weaver's hut. Right, because I don't have the money. That's part of the reason. Two new villagers. We're losing lots of money, actually. I'm going about this wrong. See, what we need to do is buy, uh, sell, yes. So let's sell all above the value of... Let's say 40. If, it's a, if we have more than 40, we're selling them. And then the same with this. We're going to sell anything above... Can I type it in the block? No. Can I increase faster than one? No. Okay. No slider. That's all right. I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll address that as the game moves forward. Let's just sell everything over 60. What else are they buying? Planks. Um, we'll sell everything above probably 30. Now, is this a thing that I have to... How does this work? Woodcutter could not find accessible resource in zone extraction. Mm-hmm. Well, I got news for you. We're about to zone some more extraction. Let's just say anything in this block is fair game. How about that? Because this is going to end up being the main, the main sort of event. Uh, we'll let this rebuild over here, actually, since the forester should be kind of replanting that area. Yes, they need homes. Residential homes can be built in this area here. That's what I needed to do. Oh, I needed to zone them some homes and then they'd make them. Of course they would. So homes will be over here. Reforestation, which I also need to zone. It's going to be right over here and in fact the extraction will also be there. Okay, we're, I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of the game. Oh, look at them all. They went to town. They immediately were like, yes, homes. Yes. Oh, I'm starting to think maybe we shouldn't sell stone. We could run out. Although there's some right over here. Hey! Desirability average authorized housing upgrade. Kind of setting up here with the town center, the well, the marketplace. We're going to be, yeah, this is this is a desirable area for those reasons. Actually, actually. Could we keep the homes out of that area? I would like to continue on with the marketplace. No. Bulldoze the home. You can build it somewhere else. You can build out in this direction here. Ooh, look at the forester go! Nice! This is nice. This is nice. We need a weaver hut. But that upfront cost is intense. Two new villagers... Joining the village. And look, we're getting all these homes up. All these new streets are being worn in. So how am I supposed to initiate this trade, I wonder? Income. 
All expenses, expenses. Mmm. Territory taxes. General spending, trade expense, trade income. No, territory taxes was an expense. Uh, trade income. We need to trade. Uh, I have trade selected. Trading resources. How about no trade? Allegiance. It doesn't tell me what that allegiance is. Hmm. And we have more villagers that don't have work. Alright, well, let's check out the help. Good luck. It doesn't really say... Display territory boundaries. Display zoning areas. Resource panel. Happiness. Immigration. 18 serfs. Oh my. I feel like the trade should just happen. Right? Like, automatically. Okay, perhaps that was our problem all along, right? And now we just need to stockpile stuff up in the warehouse, of course. And that means now we'll be able to trade it. Sometimes it's the simple things. And we really have to discover these simple things. I don't think we have enough builders. Let's get some more builders done. Not happy. Very happy. How can you be very happy? Winona? Oh. <clears throat> oh, because you just became a serf, and yeah, okay. I see. Well, we need that weaver's hut. Oh, we did. We sold all kinds of money. So now we have a weaver's hut that we can make right here, kind of right where the stone is. I need to pay attention, because I feel like maybe the... Uh, does it say what the desirability is? It really doesn't, so... I don't know, it seems like the stockpile maybe increased the desirability? I know the mar the marketplaces and the well have a seem to have a direct correlation on the desirability for this area. Desirability is just average for all of these homes. We need to buy this other territory. How, do, how did we get the... Wait, I thought it... Okay, hold on. So I was pretty sure our reward... Pretty sure our reward was to buy a new zone. Was it not? Territory. Aha, uh -huh. we'll add to your royal taxes. Same, 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 same. Ooh, oh, it's 500 normally. That added 10 to my... Ooh. Ooh, I, I, I thought it was... I was like, well, that's really cheap. I was gonna just going to buy more than one. No, no, I was not, apparently. Well, I think at this point we can push the residential out a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll just include that house. And then we'll push it out over this way, even though it's really not desirable. We can also say that all of this is going to be chopped down. Thank you. In fact, the more I look at it, the more I was right to say I don't want to chop this down yet. I don't want the woodcutters to take the low-hanging fruit until they've gotten rid of the trees that we're trying to build on over here in this direction. 
Okay, so it looks like... It looks like anything we put in here to trade is not available for other people to use. So I think we have to be leery of putting too much of our resources inside of the trade center. <laughs> because then we, we simply we can't um we can't access them appar apparently. My my, that's that's a little concerning. Oh, it takes tools. Okay, we're going to have to buy some. We're actually going to have to buy ten. Empty, empty. I'm unsure of how this works. I feel like if I tell... Okay, so if I command it to trade... To sell any berries above 40, does that mean it's only stocking berries above 40 here? Because these aren't accessible to... They don't show up here, as you can see. It's 0 and 100, 12 and 14. This doesn't match up at all. Holy crud, let's stop immigration right now. Wow. Maybe that's how we get profitable. Yeah, we'll just keep immigration going. Two more villagers. Yikes. Okay, we might have to slow that down, but let's take a look at what jobs are not maxed out that can have another worker, because they should be maxed out. If we have available workers, there's no reason. Look at all these windows. Oh my goodness. Can they close? Can they close on their own? Another woodcutter. Who Who's unemployed? We still have one unemployed person. Two, two. I think all the jobs are full. We might have to start foraging for more berries soon. 20 berries sold this week. Okay. Ooh, we are maxed out on gold. Hmm. Yes, we are maxed out on gold. So I guess I'll just tell the tools to stock maximum there. And this wool, I don't think, was anybody buying wool? Nobody was... Oh, they were. For bread... Um, I don't think we need bread yet. We're still trying to fulfill the clothes requirement, which takes tools, which I guess we have to trade for. But looking at everything, that's where we're going to have to wrap things up. I think we are going to stop accepting new villagers, though, at this point. Good night. 24 of them. We need to figure out jobs for these, for these other three, but also we need to figure out a way to get tools and figure out how this stockpile works with buying tools. Because we have set up, we have set up to buy. And that being said, it's where we're going to wrap up this episode. So this has been Foundation, Episode 1. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you've been enjoying the open alpha of this game. I don't know how long the series will be, but we'll definitely do a little bit of a run on it to explore what is available here in the open alpha. And I hope you've had a good time watching it, because as always, I've had a good time playing just remember that if you have had a good time watching, to subscribe and ring the bell so that you can see whenever games like this pop up on my channel. But until next time, take care.